and welcome again to another episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf News on the net. I'm your host, Drek, and today we're talking about match-grade rival blasters, starting with the Mercury and moving into the Jupiter, both of which are Roman names, which makes sense because it's kind of like a parallel line to the rival line. It's still in-house with Hasbro. They did this really weird thing where they did a bunch of, like, Titan names instead of Greek deity names, and now they're moving into Roman names for Greek names. <laughs> ah. Anyway, for reasons that should be pretty intrinsic and obvious to longtime fans of the channel. This bothers me just a little bit. But I still have a gripe with uh, Disney for calling the movie Hercules instead of Heracles. So uh, we'll blitz right on past that and start talking about the news. Start talking about the stuff that you guys care about. So I waited a couple of days to make this one specifically for reasons that we can't talk about, but I haven't gotten an answer, so the easiest way to get the answer is to just shove this news out there, get it out to the masses, make sure that you guys know what is coming in 2019, because this stuff is exciting, and I'm excited about it for a lot of different reasons. So buckle up your adventure seat belts, because this one is going to be a long one. Let's start with these early release images of the Nerf Mercury. Now, the Nerf Rival Mercury is going to be a five-shot Kronos reskin. That's right, it's a Kronos reskin in that it is doing all the things the Chrono does. <laughs> Kronos does. We've got an internal magazine here, which is pretty clearly visible. It's actually visible, which is really cool. Clear tube, clear window, showcasing that sweet, sweet rival action. So this is awesome. Uh, it's going to make our mods a little bit unsightly because if you expand this now, you're going to have all of that work in there clearly visible. Muzzle is aggressive, looks cool, and then instead of priming uh, with a slide, which a lot of people liked, but some people hated because it is a pretty heavy prime, now we're going to be doing that with an uh, ambidextrous bolt that you can put into the side. Now, if you want to buy two of these things, you can put a bolt in either side. I don't think many people do that, so if you're a righty, you'll put it on the left side to crank this way, and then if you're a lefty, you'll put it here and crank this way. But it, it just threads in, and we'll take a better look at that in a minute because we've got even more than just this sweet, sweet Instagram post from Nerf NerfNCCTW. Never heard of them before. Hilariously, this post only has 15 likes, but it's like a tremendous resource here. Um, and then as we scroll through, my internet won't load these images, but that's not important. That's not important. You know what is important? this video let's go oh yeah now that's what i'm talking about full shot view so you can see same size as the chronos no surprises there this video incidentally has techno music for no reason it's not synced so we're going to leave it off while we talk about the good stuff but you can see here pretty clearly the threading that i was talking about how this can be on either side as well as full length rival picatinny rail and and screwing that into the other side to make it more right hand friendly, right hand compatible. We also get a look at this trigger. The trigger is so cool. Like the trigger to me almost looks like a, uh, a lightning bolt trigger, which reminds me of something, but we'll talk about that in a second here. So get a good look at that clear uh, magazine inside, as well as uh, this fellow who may or may not be in China as of right now. I'm pretty sure I know where this video comes from, but I'm not gonna make any guarantees uh, or point anybody in their direction. Um, so. Uh, we have kind of a look here. There's going to be no need to do a door delete because there is no longer a jam door covering this. I guess Hasbro saw us taking them off of all of our blasters and decided, eh, not even to mess with it. Now, that bolt action is going to be really good for certain kinds of modifications, but it leaves us with no more uh, need to do, like, grip attachments and stuff like that. So that is a little funky. And then here we just get a look at the performance. Again, like, the Ergo is just, this is an entire reskin in terms of performance. And it's going to be up to you whether or not you want a bolt action pistol or a bolt action base for your new rival contraption. But no doubt the community will love this even if this minion in the video does not. Um, would credit this video, but again, don't want to point anybody in their direction. Again, just as a fun point of order, this is uh, the Airsoft primary that I use. It's in a... Uh, Avalon by Elite Force and it's got this funky lightning bolt trigger which is also considered to be like better than stock and so that's kind of funny to me that the lightning bolt trigger kind of represents like match grade to me not only for like three gun where you skeletonize everything but I think of them as match grade rival blasters we're gonna have to move on to the next one but just real quick the lightning bolt trigger also made me think about this I couldn't help it this is like my dream watch as an engineer like a uh the Rolex company at one point put out this. This is the Milgauss, 
and uh, it's got the funkiest thing like you'd think Rolex luxury watches. I just think that this is the coolest thing ever that it's a luxury watch with like engineers in mind and as such it has a lightning bolt for the second hand. It's too cool. A lot of people think that these are fake but they are a real Rolex. They're just not very popular at all. Somebody modded this one. So cool. So cool. Someday. And moving right along, continuing with this match grade rival aesthetic, we have the Jupiter IXI-10, and the, the Reaper shotgun really showcases that, like, Rival is absolutely going to be doing more things with these internal magazines, and so the Reaper, I think, has 8 shots, but this has 10 shots. It's just a longer tube. There's nothing special about it, except it comes with this target to practice your accuracy. I believe the Mercury is going to ship with one as well. It's got a detachable bipod, which is important. It's important that you be able to take off your hideous bipod so that you don't have to have it when you carry this into battle but uh, I guess if you want to super duper dial in your accuracy with a nerf blaster uh, in your bedroom or whatever it's cool that it includes a target back in my day we used to just shoot the backs of cardboard boxes sometimes had pop out targets on them which was kinda cool in and of itself but if your blaster came with a box it came with a target just food for thought um, Anyway, the Jupiter is going to be our bolt action rifle. Again, very match grade, right? Like, and it's designed with accuracy in mind. And all rival blasters have very predictable flight paths, particularly in their stock form. Uh, you can barely make out that it's going to have that super cool lightning bolt trigger. Oh, I can't get enough of it. And it's going to prime bolt action like this. Reminds me very much of like the uh, the Busby blasters that do very similar sort of things like the Busby Hunter. And I think that we've had that in Nerf blasters in the past, but we also get these handles which also remind me of like Olympic style pistols. Again, like somebody is really into three gun up there in, uh, in Rhode Island just, uh, just chewing this up. But we've got a uh, pretty comfortable looking stock here. Again, taking some real steel inspiration and another one of these very aggressive muzzles. But... These rival blasters are going to be coming to us in lime green. I think that that's a really funky choice. Like, we already have Team Red versus Team Blue. And then we have the Renegade team of the Phantom Core. And all of that stands to reason. Like, I get all of that. I do not know why we couldn't have match grade blasters or sniper class blasters or whatever you want to call them within the context and the framework of that lineup. Instead, no, no, no. We have to have this, uh, this lime green. Uh, blaster coming out and hopefully it winds up being muted down a little bit in full production All I can say is that the modulus lime green was super obnoxious when it first came out and then it disappeared And then it phased back in and over time it grew on me um, I, I do like some of these very vibrant very neon color choices uh, I actually just got my first pair of like new shoes in a very long time and they are fluorescent I'm sure you'll see them in videos coming up pretty soon, but Neon can be really cool, so I like the overall aesthetic and design choices of these. I think that the color is going to grow on us over time, but that is my take on the Jupiter, and that is my take on the Mercury. The Mercury is going to cost more than a Kronos, so if you're super performance focused, or if you just really want a ultra holsterable blaster, like it's going to be much harder to holster your Mercury, given that it has a bolt on the side of it just sticking out, um, particularly since the side that you want the bolt on is the side that you would want it facing your thigh. So that's going to be a little bit funky dunky, but uh, these are pretty cool and they serve a completely different role. They're very much like, in my opinion, match grade rival. And I think that they're going to do a, a great job of that. And I can't wait to get my hands on them at Toy Fair in 2019, which is coming up fast. Happy holidays to all of you guys. Speaking of the holidays, it's time for some shameless plug, shall we? Alright guys, we'll try and make this quick and painless, so I was absolutely paid money to talk to you guys about findurings.com, and it's helping me get through this holiday season, so I hope that you guys don't mind me talking to you a little bit about this website and this service, so what this is, is a website that provides um, high quality engraving on rings of various materials that are not like ultra premium jewelry material uh, examples, but they're very fairly priced, I think, and they, uh, they come with a litany of different designs and options. Interestingly enough, you can buy wedding bands here. And I know that it's like very millennial to say that like you shouldn't be spending a fortune on your wedding bands. You should instead be spending that money on like experiences with the person you love. At least like that's my intention. But uh, if you wanted to uh, save a bunch of money, I think that this is a great option for like pretty decent looking um, inexpensive wedding bands that are personalizable and 
like very well made. They're ultra consistent with the things in the image. For example, I was sent this one to talk to you guys about it. I chose it because I don't have a need for more jewelry. Most of my jewelry comes from Greece. So I wanted something that was very unique. And like this is super duper funky. It's got a uh, stainless steel cable inlay and then two little machine screws in it. And as somebody who's like really getting into machining right now, I thought that it was tasteful and I did not take their Titanic inspiration here and go with the Jack and Rose inscription. Mine instead says hashtag make stuff. And I thought that that was pretty cool. It also says titanium on the inside, so people know not to try and cut it off of me, I suppose. But uh, again, still pretty expensive jewelry. They do have, I think, some cheaper options if you go into the stainless steel, all of which can be laser engraved. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I don't know of many men who would want to wear a vintage style octopus ring, but in the spirit of full disclosure, I do think that it was a little bit funny to choose a toy channel to review your wedding band service, find you rings, but uh, clearly a quality product at a very fair price. And I hope that my viewers will pop on over and at least check it out. Uh, and who knows, maybe some of them are looking at getting married soon, or maybe they just need some fresh winter jewelry to brighten up their style. But my predominantly male audience is now um, well aware of your offerings. They do come in these uh, tasteful little uh, shiny cardboard boxes with a pillow inside. So again, thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Hopefully you guys poke around in here. Maybe you'll find something that you like. There is a ton of different jewelry on this site, like an actual litany of it. Now to move on to something that, uh, just to cleanse my soul a little bit, I was not paid any money to talk about. If you are looking for a Christmas gift right now, I cannot recommend highly enough for my predominantly male audience uh, a Scudo wallet. So this is the wallet that I carry all the time. They've got licensing for a variety of different really cool like automobile um, companies. So you've got everything from Ford. Uh, I think that they're getting Mopar in very, very soon. Like a lot of different cool stuff. I'm not sure where they're at with Chevy, but like if they ever come out with a vet one, that's going to be sweet. They are American made wallets. They're literally actually made like very close to me by two friends that I've known for years and years and years. Uh, their company is super duper sweet. It's very ethically manufactured if that matters to you, but it is probably the ultimate everyday carry wallet if you're looking for a billet wallet or anything like that. And I'm not being paid to talk about them or anything. I have every intention of doing a couple of special editions for End War just because I really, really love this company and supporting this company. And they're awesome. Like, Unlike some people who promote wallets that they may or may not carry, I carry mine literally every day and it's always a joy uh, watching the TSA freak out when I pull my identification out of it, truth be told. And then to wrap this video up completely, uh, I do want to tell you guys that as of the launching of this video tonight, I am streaming, I am laddering in MTG Arena. Uh, I'm no longer doing sponsored uh, arena content. I just really, really love playing arena. It's another fine Hasbro owned game and property and it's really just super duper in my wheelhouse and I'm pretty good at it. So if you enjoy watching streams and you want to ask more questions about either the Mercury or the Jupiter or perhaps you want to know more about uh, personalized jewelry or wallets or any sort of whatever your nerf drama de jour is, uh, I will be on stream live for probably four or five hours tonight just kind of climbing that ladder, uh, working our way up to platinum in arena and uh, it would mean an absolute ton to me if you tuned into my stream. They get better and better each time as I'm really embracing and learning that platform as well. So that's uh, Twitch TV, twitch.tv backslash vampire drag and I'll have links to everything in the description box below. I will have links to the Instagram post where I snagged those Mercury images. I will also have links to my Twitch, which I would love it if you would click on, as well as the Find Your Rings jewelry and Scudo wallets if you want to check those out as well. So, uh, as always, much love. News on, Drac out. Uh, uh, uh.